What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to connect a GoDaddy domain name or a domain name that you purchased on GoDaddy.com to your Google Sites website. So let's get right to it. Google Sites is a great service that allows you to build uh, websites easily and it's uh, pretty user friendly and if you are a beginner you can use it easily since it's a drag and drop uh, platform uh, that can let you build your site with ease. And um, here you need to go to sites.google.com and here are like a couple of sites that I was uh, like uh, testing on or working on earlier. And here you can view some uh, templates. Of course, you can start with a blank site and then add all your elements one by one. However, I find it easier to work with a ready-made template and uh, editing. So uh, here you want to click on template gallery to uh, view the templates of the uh, that the Google Sites gives you. And here uh, you want to select a template that is uh, best suited for your business. And here, let's select like, uh, for example, this restaurant one. So um, let's uh, click on it. Okay, so here it opens up in the editor. So you can double click on any like test, uh, text element to uh, highlight it and then edit the text. So how to simple for example and you can click on any element to edit it so if i click on this uh, like uh, header bar right here i can edit the color or the style so here uh, the first style and this is the second one and i can edit uh, the like uh, single elements and here i have themes so you can get a theme with a color scheme and fonts and so on so uh, let's select this one here as you can see it edited the test uh, text colors and uh, color schemes and so on so uh, here if I click on the button I can edit it so uh, like uh, edit the name and the URL that this button will uh, lead to and then here I can edit the style so if it's filled if it's outline if it's text uh, text and so on edit the alignment and uh, so on so here and photo, I can click on a photo, I can make it collapsible or not. And I can click here on a photo, uh, double click like to increase the size and so on. And um, okay. And here I have the pages that are available in the website and then I can insert text box, image, drive, embed and so on. Uh, so here, for example, I can uh, like change the... Uh, elements the different like blocks uh, order I can drag this one up and down and I can copy it I can select the style and I can even change the image select an image uh, or upload so if I click on select I can select an image from the gallery of the Google Sites by URL search or my albums or Google Drive so uh, let's uh, select this one for example and it'll be changed Okay, so seems I selected the background one by the, uh, by mistake. So if I want to select this one, I select it. Click on the three dots right here, replace image. You can upload or select an image and replace this image as well. So editing the website is pretty easy. Now we want to publish the website. So um, if we publish it now, it'll give it like a generic uh, URL generated by Google for free. However, if you want to add our own GoDaddy URL, you want to go to this icon that's the settings click on it and then here under custom domains you want to start setup to add your domain so here my if i go to godaddy.com and then i go on my profile name click on my products you'll see this is the domain that i purchased how to sample that site copy it and paste it right here and now uh, this domain is not verified so it needs to verify that I'm the owner of this uh, domain name. So uh, click on verify your ownership. Okay, it'll open a new tab. Click on continue right here in the domain. And then it'll give you some instructions. It detects that this domain is purchased from godaddy.com. And here, um, instructions for godaddy. So uh, press on start verification below to verify in some easy steps okay so i'll click on start verification it'll open the godaddy uh, website where it'll ask me to connect and authorize google to enable or to use uh, this uh, domain name to verify it so 
uh, click on connect and make sure this is the domain name that you selected. It's written right here. So if you have more than like one domain name, make sure this is the right one. Click on connect. Okay, and now uh, the verification is uh, underway. And now the ownership is verified. So it now verified that uh, I own this domain. So uh, click on done right here and then uh, go back, cl close this uh, tab, go back here and then uh, like uh, cancel, go to custom domains again, start setup, add the domain once again. And now it's verified as you can see. Now click on next and here it'll give you the instructions to connect uh, this uh, the GoDaddy domain to your Google website. So here uh, open the godaddy.com or the domain registers provider. Go to your DNS settings. So let's go here to in the domains. Go, you'll find DNS here. Or if you don't find it, just uh, click on manage and you will uh, open the uh, this domain's settings. You'll find DNS. Uh, so click on it or just click on it here as I'll do now. It'll open up. So here is the DNS menu that I'm talking about. And now let's go back and see more instructions. Now you want to create a new CNAME entry. So if you scroll down here, you want to click on add a new uh, record. Choose an option type. Let's add CNAME. And now uh, under CNAME value, enter www. Okay, so copy it. Name www. And in the destination, just copy uh, this one with the period in the end right here okay copy it and click on uh, or paste it right here and then uh, ttl you can leave it uh, as it is okay and now you can click on uh, save okay it conflicts with another record so make sure you delete the any www name that is uh, here so delete this one Okay, now um, my DNS uh, is now deleted and I can add this one that I entered. Okay, updating the DNS record. Okay, let's go back to the instructions and then save changes and come back to this tab and click done. So I'll click on done here since I completed these steps. And now as you can see, the uh, domain name is connected. Now, one thing to note is that it can take up to like 24 hours, maybe more to uh, verify once you make the connection to verify uh, this connection and make your site live. So if I try and go now to the how to simple uh, dot site, copy the URL, paste it right here. OK, so as you can see, it gives me an error since um, it doesn't like uh connect right away it might take a while maybe minutes some minutes or maybe up to like 24 hours or maybe more uh that depends of course uh, and but however uh, once you are connected and you see here that the domain name is connected that means you have successfully connected your domain name your godaddy domain name to this google website so that's how easy it is to add a domain name or connect a domain name that you bought on GoDaddy to your Google Sites website.